going organic. The booming organic produce market. A report out this week says that Australia's organic food market. American consumers are starting to take a hard look at the food they eat. The new markets are aimed at ensuring cleanliness and orderliness. Do you really know what organic means? What's the difference between this apple and this one? It's simpler than you might think, and it's become popular for many in the search for a healthier lifestyle. The concept of eating organic is a growing global phenomenon, and while millions of people are buying into the viral epidemic, many still lack an understanding behind the health benefits of the word in terms of agriculture. The more that you read about what is going on, the more that you learn about what is going on uh, with our, our food system these days, uh, the more you realize that you need to be very careful with, with what you eat. Agriculture should be the primary health institution of a nation because the health of a nation begins in the soil. The way that we grow our food, right, determines how it's going to impact on our health, all right? So if we're growing food knowingly, right, that the inputs that we're using, right, are detrimental to the environment, detrimental to the soil, pollution to the groundwater, right, and the residues, right, uh, toxic residues that over time have been proven to cause damage to the human body, then we have to take another look at how we grow our food. As more and more nutritious and sustainable produce are becoming readily available to westernized nations, other countries around the world are struggling with the same pursuit for a healthier way of life. Specifically in Ghana, 90% of its 25 million people rely on local agriculture as their primary food source. And while growing produce in West Africa is challenging due to its hot and humid climate, Research and studies indicate that inappropriate usage of chemical pesticides poses a serious problem for the health of its nation. The local industry is not regulated, so farmers can use whatever they feel like on their crops. People are using chemical products and inputs, artificial things to put in the plants, and then they are not feeling good and nobody understands why uh, people are tired, are depressed, are with headache or stomachache, or they are not feeling well. And at the end, uh, that's why, because we are, our body is the result of what we are eating. Many farmers, right, in the pursuit of profit, right, will not follow it, adhere to the instructions that are listed on the labels of these chemical inputs, right? and in a desire to get their market, get their produce to the market, to look aesthetic, clean, bug-free, right? They will not follow what is called the PHI, which is pre-harvest intervals, which means that if you use a pesticide, there's a certain amount of days that you have to wait before you harvest, right? But sometimes the farmer, in an effort to clean his produce, he'll, he'll spray the day instead of waiting 21 days or 14 days he'll take it to the market the next day, which means that there's a high concentration, right, of residue of that product on your produce that you're buying. They don't understand the, the dangers. They don't know how to use the inputs properly. Not, not everybody, but, but a lot. And uh, if you were to test the vegetables in the market available, they, they would, the, the majority would have uh, residue limits that are above the, the maximum uh, allowed ones. There are many advocates in Ghana for the labeling of genetically modified organisms in local produce, but there are only a small number of farms in the country that have taken the initiative to practice sustainable and biodynamic agriculture. So voter presentation farm, right, is at what I say the embryonic stage of developing a, a total approach to organic agriculture in Ghana. All right. It's not that there's no one growing uh, food with our chemicals in Ghana, but um, the protocols that we follow, the type of methodology that we've, we've created, right, is one that's been proven successful over the last 30 years, okay, in varying African climates and varying African countries and soils, okay. So we see that the voter presentation farm is, 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 could be a forerunner, right, of developing an approach that will benefit the whole country. We are not designed as like, like as human beings to be buying food from another country and bringing it in. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense when you can grow it here. 
it may not be what you want, yeah? you may not be able to get everything year round, but that's part of the excitement. While farms such as Volta Presentation are redefining the principles of agriculture in Ghana, much of the local community is still oblivious to the alternative. But farmers are hoping as the push for organic farming continues to surface, so will the awareness. They need uh, vegetables to eat. And they can't get the organic. They have to buy the chemicals one. Because them, they, they don't know any uh, that this is organic or this is not organic. The approach should be growing food without chemical inputs. And you can say organic if you want to say natural or if you want to say biodynamic. All right. The whole approach should be an agroecological approach to growing food. Do you know where the vegetables come from? Yes, I know some, but not all of them. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Um, do you know? Like, are they? Do they come from big farms or? No, I don't know. Don't know. There is currently uh, a move to have within Ghana uh, uh, what's called a green label, and that is um, to have a standard within the country for people who want to produce uh, a greener alternative of, of food which in itself shows you that there's a demand and there's a concern. The steps toward um, empowering uh, the population, right, to developing a non-chemical approach to agriculture has to be also coupled with a knowledge base, which is training, which is uh, capacity building. And this is all part and parcel of what is being done in Voter Presentation Farm. We can find here healthy vegetables and it's really difficult to find it in Ghana? None of chemicals, no. We are not using chemicals in this farm. That's the difference that is between this farm and Ghanaian farms. We handle our, our, our inputs. We, we take time, you know, we, we take precautions. But at the end of the day, we know that what we have here is safe to eat. And you can eat it with a, with a clear conscience. And that's nice. The benefits of organic agriculture is not just we're just growing food without chemicals. And it's not that we're just trying to get a higher nutritional value, but we're actually impacting our DNA. We actually have the capacity to change our DNA, which means that it can be a tool toward not just preventing malnutrition, but also curing disease through food. And that's the vision.